Hey, this is Jerry DePaula, and this is the Trib One Minute Pit Video following Pitt's 39-36 loss to Virginia Tech tonight, which wiped out the Panthers' chances of uh, winning the ACC Coastal, at least as, as far as reality is concerned. Uh, as you can see, it's a few days for Halloween, and I'm wearing my uh, uh, scary tie with uh, pumpkins with spooky faces and ghosts and goblins and such. But this tie is not nearly as scary, at least as far as Pitt fans is concerned, as when Gerard Evans, a Virginia Tech quarterback, put the ball in the air against that Pitt secondary tonight. 24 out of 40 completions, 406 yards. If you go back to the three losses Pitt has this, this season, Oklahoma State, North Carolina, and tonight against Virginia Tech, that's a total of 1,399 yards just through the air in those three games. Uh, Pitt needs to be able to make some stops on defense, especially with those cornerbacks who just aren't uh, they're staying with the receivers. Uh, one, one thing Pat Narduzzi said tonight, the coverage is good, but they're not stepping up and making plays, knocking the ball away You know, when the ball comes to them, turning their head at the right time. Uh, maybe it's um, this, this uh, team needs two or three more recruiting classes to make that secondary even better. Uh, if you're li listening, uh, Lamont Wade, Clareton, Lamont Wade, there, here's a, if you, if you want to come and play right away you know, in, in your college of choice, it is the place to be because they need help at cornerback. Uh, Jordan Whitehead, the safety, is one of the best in the ACC. Uh, you know, but other than that, and with Vontae Maddox injured uh, right now and not playing, it's difficult, you know, for Pitt to make plays because they just don't have enough playmakers in that secondary. Uh, Pitt played DeMar Hamlin tonight, the freshman from Central Catholic, burned his red shirt. A good move, I think, because Hamlin has a lot of talent, but he came in the game, you know, with a score tied in the fourth quarter, 29 29, I thought was a strange time to put in a freshman, and uh, right down the field, uh, Virginia Tech went. They did that all night. I think they scored on nine possessions, uh, mostly field goals, six field goals, but also, like I said, 406 yards passing from Gerard Evans, and you just can't win like that. Offensively, it has no problem. Uh, a big game from uh, uh, James Conner tonight, uh, three touchdowns, almost 150 yards on the ground. Uh, Nathan Peterman didn't play his best game at quarterback. Uh, but he became he recovered from an interception early and completed a touchdown pass late. All Pitt needed was one stop in, in Virginia Tech's last possession. If they would have made that stop, and that was on run defense, if they had made that last stop on, on that possession, Virginia Tech would have punted. Pitt might have had a chance to come down and kick a tying field goal. Who knows? But bottom line is they gave up too many plays. Uh, the roster and defense needs help. Uh, it needs some recruiting help. Uh, they're going to get Paris Ford, the kid, the kid from uh, Steel Valley, next year, uh, probably at safety. Maybe they get Lamont Wade from Clareton, and you got DeMar Hamlin you know, playing the rest of the season, getting some experience. Wante Maddox is going to get healthy you know, with, with his uh, arm injury. Uh, maybe things will get better. But as of now, Pitt's not going to run the ACC Coastal. Uh, they have four games left. Uh, they got Miami and, and Clemson on the road the next two weeks, then home to Syracuse and Duke. And at least three of those, te those teams really throw the ball well, even Duke. You know, has a good quarterback, too. So it's going to be tough for Pitt the rest of the season. They have a chance to get the eight wins if they can pull an upset here in the next um, the next few weeks with either Miami, Clemson. I don't think they're going to do that. Uh, then they come home and play Syracuse and Duke. There's an opportunity for eight wins. I'm not expecting it. Seven and five looks like the best they can do for the regular season and maybe get it to eight and five with a bowl game victory. Right now, though, Pat Narduzzi has a lot of work to do with that uh, secondary to make it better. And uh, I'm sure he's going to start first thing Friday morning. For the uh, for the Trib One Minute Pit video, this is Jerry DePaul.